I just want to show you a little something that came up to my attention as I was doing my best to live my own life and do my little things without bothering too much about super superfluous details of this world. My five-year-old son came up to me with this, uh, this piece of junk mail that, that came in our mail. He says, look, Papa, look. Then don't I, look, I recognize this person here pointing out the person on on this picture yeah it does uh, she does look like a, a bit like my niece and she so uh, I didn't pay attention too much she came back to me a second time and showed me the, those pictures okay okay thank you thank you Atlas and the third time he came over and showed me another picture of those people so yeah and then, then it, it got my attention at that point. I said, yeah, actually, there might be some people that, uh, that I know in there because they kind of look familiar. And I see two people that I know personally. And I love, my, I, I love those people. And I, I'm not going to name them right here, but I see them. Oh, there's, there's this person, and that's his wife. Okay, cool. They're on this picture, and I look again. Okay, who's who's the? Okay, uh, they look familiar, but don't really know them. La, 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 la. And then, I see this guy's face here. This guy's face. Has anybody seen this face here before? And I even wrote it down for you. Ellison Onizaka of the Challenger. He's a survivor of the Challenger explosion. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen. Believe it or not. You see this picture here. Why would this picture be amongst all these other living, loving people here from Hawaii? You know, one island, one future. Stacy Higa for mayor. Okay, that's what it's about. That's why we see all those faces. It's one guy who wants to get elected. Another guy who wants to get elected. Hmm. Haven't seen, haven't we seen enough pictures of people on the side of the road who want to be elected, who want to rule us, who want to tell us what, should, what we shouldn't be doing what kind of mask we should be wearing, what kind of social distancing we should be adopting. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Politicians, why should we do that for you? When you slip in there, a little picture like that, just like, uh, where's Waldo, you know? So, what's going on here? Let's investigate. So respect and aloha. I have a lot of respect and aloha. If you know what respect is, good. If you know what aloha is, it's about saluting and loving. Should we get that much respect and aloha from this guy here, Stacy Higa? He wants to be our politician. He wants to put his face all over the place. So we can say, yes, let's vote for this guy. Shall we? I don't like to vote. Voting is a waste of your energy. Voting for somebody to rule your life doesn't make any sense, especially in a free world. So, Mr. Higa, what do you got for us? Oh, well, Mr. Higa, he got a team, and in his team, He's got a lot of people in his team. And some people are real, some people are not. Who am I to say that? I know some real people in there because I, I know them personally. I, I've known them for years and they are real and they're good people. But there is a face in there. Where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? Where's that face that doesn't belong in that crowd? Well, he kind of belongs in it because he is 
uh, probably still living member of this this island of the Big Island here, Big Island of Hawaii. This guy here, he was born in Kealakakua, Hawaii. He belongs on this island. But he died a long time ago before he got that old, believe it or not. And if you ask Snopes, they're going to tell you, are the crew of the exploded Challenger space shuttle still alive? They're gonna say they're gonna say, well, there's some claims. Look at the explosion. It happened. Everybody saw it on TV. You know, I was a student back then, and the teacher brought in the TV set in the classroom, and we're all so happy to see a TV instead of a teacher. And Snopes says false. No, it's false. They did die, but did they? So we're happy to have a TV set pulled into our, our classroom, like pretty much everybody else in the world at that time, to see the Challenger people who died. <sighs> Exploded. There was a teacher in there. We should have felt so bad for her. But this guy here, look, he aged. After dying, he aged. And somehow, it's the same picture. The same picture that uh, Stacy Higa put on his website among all the good living humans of the Big Island. He put the same picture, the same shirt, the same smirk on his face of that guy. You know, sorry, I, I flipped on my computer there. I had to go back to it. So, in case you don't know, we never went to the moon. It was all faked. And the Challenger explosion was also faked. And pretty much all of space is fake. So building a TMT on top of Mauna Kea with all the other observatory doesn't make much sense. Especially when we have guys like that, you know, that are still alive after claiming they died. And all those other people claim they died. This guy died, but he's still alive. He died, he's still alive. He died, and he's still alive. And they're still using his picture. The same freaking picture. Believe it or not. Is this the guy? Could be, could it be? Well, this, they say it's Claude. It's not Ellison anymore. It's Claude. If you don't know how to pronounce Claude, it's Claude, it's not Claude. Sorry if you only speak English, but Claude is a French word. And it should be pronounced the French way. And other people died, but they're still alive. They still kept their same name. They still have a very good job. They still get highly paid. And they're still Freemasons. They never quit Freemasonry. Otherwise, they wouldn't have a life anymore. They would have been sacrificed. But no, they, they kept all their money. They kept their smile. They kept their name. And they even pretend that uh, this br their brother married the, the, the widow. Hey, Claude. Claude. Sorry, I'm a little mad, but he came knocking at my door. I was looking for peace. And this guy who pretended to have gone in space, he didn't even make it in space because he died with the rest of his buddies, he's still alive. Not only that, is Ellison Onizaka's name's all over the place now. Look, like he's, he's, he had an early life like everybody. He went into the Air Force, you know, honorable him. Whatever the Air Force does in this world that we don't know about, like modifying weather and uh, burning down houses, but nobody should know about that, should we? The directed energy weapons. So the legacy of Ellison got a lot of stuff. We got an Air Force station in California, the Kona International Airport here in Kona is named after him. A Japanese cultural center in Hawaii, 
a little Tokyo in Los Angeles even has a street name after him. Uh, what's that? Elementary school in Clear Lake City, Houston, Texas. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you, Ellison Onizaka, for your legacies after you never died. And we, everybody was crying for you. And you left all your, all your name on the most prestigious buildings that the Freemasons tag your name on. After they stole so many buildings that were already there. But anyway, who am I to say all that? I'm just a curvature amateur. I'm just an amateur. I'm not an expert. And I prove to you in my videos that we don't live on a globe and the earth is not flat. Thank you, Claude Onizaka. Claude. I hope you know how to pronounce your name, Claude. And this guy also is still alive today. You no, know, if you look at all those pictures, you can look at all all these things yourself on Google. Google is graceful enough to show you a bunch of truth amongst all the lies. So you tell me, am I right or am I wrong? Okay, should I be angry right now about the mail coming in? About this guy who wants to get elected. What's his name? He got. He gotta be kidding me! Come on. We don't need another politician to rule us. We don't need another politician to tell us that we shouldn't live. We should. We should be wearing a mask. We should stay away from one another. We shouldn't go to our job because it, it's not uh, a necessity. You know. F you all politicians, that's all I got to say, and Freemason, and astronauts, you are not astro, okay? All you are is a big bag of hot air. That's what you use to go up, in, up to the firmament is hot air and balloons, okay? That's how you inflate your heads and your Freemasonic masses to deceive the whole world. And thanks to Carl Sagan here, he's there to remind us that there is a bunch of junk in this world that I think like they should be ruling us. Uh, what about those people? Still alive, still alive, still alive. Are they going to be alive for long? As long as they don't uh, tell anybody that they never went. Just like Buzz Aldrin, he, he slipped and he told that to an eight-year-old girl. He didn't go to the moon. It was all about keeping the people who pay the bill interested. Isn't it? Isn't it all that it's about? For, for paying, we're paying for space. We're not really going in space, we're just paying for it. We don't really have a space over the firmament, but we're paying for it. So, who's going to vote for Mr. Higa? Anybody? Anybody? Anybody in the right mind? Especially after uh, seeing what I'm showing you here. You know, like, guys not dying? What? You should be dead already! What are you doing here? Bill Gates and his vaccines. That's another big Freemasonic scam. They're trying to pass on over everybody. So they can rule us. Rule free people. Does that make any sense? Anyway, thank you for paying attention, how important that is or not, because we know there's so much fakery going on in the world, and I'm, I, I'm, I was kind of triggered by it coming at my door, but I was happy at the same time to remind me that I'm not crazy, okay? 
I am not crazy. And when I showed that to my wife, she didn't know, she didn't have a clue what I was talking about. Who's this guy? She never seen him. But I have. I remember. I have a good memory. I see a face. I don't forget it. Especially when there's crooked written all over it. Does that look like a straight face or a crooked face? Claude? What causes eye bags? Well, it's by watching things like that. Gotta give me some big fat eye bags. Come on.